Hey guys, what's going on? Brule Tech here, and today I'm back on the official Castle Crash YouTube channel, bringing you guys part two of my Bulwark Crest review. So in this part, we're going to be showing actual gameplay of its benefits. So starting out here, we have Warlock without the Bulwark Crest, seeing how many hits it takes to destroy the Town Hall. And in case you guys were not counting, that took 10 hits without the Bulwark Crest to destroy a level 20 Town Hall. So now what we're going to do is put the Bulwark Crest on Warlock to see what the difference is, how quick that building is going to get destroyed with Bulwark compared to without. So once again, if this is a de developer account, level 5 Bulwark as a crest is pretty crazy of course, but alright, now we're going to do it. And as you see, he's already doing a ton more damage. That's 3 hits, 4 hits, 5 hits, only 6 hits to knock out that entire Town Hall 20 compared to 10 with the non-Bulwark Warlock. So as you see, that is a pretty big difference. Nearly halfway of hit points, you know, drained with the Bulwark Crest level five, of course. It all depends on your levels, but as you see, that was definitely a pretty big difference and it's definitely gonna help out. But that was only showing attack, of course, Bulwark also boosts your hit points on your hero by 20% depending of once again on the level of the Bulwark. But next what we're going to be doing is running two HBMs, one we're going to be running O and no Bulwark, and then the second we're also going to be running O with the Bulwark. See if we notice any real differences. So what I always like to say, or not always like to say, but when it comes to this, Bulwark is going to be the biggest help when it comes to farming new HBMs or beating new HBMs, not necessarily just helping you out too much on HBMs you can already farm well simply because if you can already farm it you're not going to notice a huge difference but I promise you guys if you're going for new HBMs it's going to make a difference and you're going to notice it it's going to help but we're showing it on one we could already really do which is kind of a mistake that is my fault I'm sorry for that but you can still notice a little slight difference and it's going to be kind of hard to show an HBM it just Completely half of it can depend on the spawns of heroes and all of that, so it is kind of hard to show. But moving on here to 04 without the bulwark, as you see, we've lost a building. Warlock had a decent amount of health taken away from him, but Druid got that back up. So moving on to 05, we got two buildings lost, and then we got just we're pretty much gonna knock this out. But this is one thing I did keep into consideration. I counted the time for the boss to die with and without Bulwark. Of course, it is sped up right here, so it is hard to see, but that actually took 16 seconds from the first hit from Warlock on that boss to destroy him. Now, we are gonna put Warlock, or not Warlock, we're gonna put Bulwark on Warlock and on Vlad Dracula, because those are the two heroes that really can benefit from it. A ton other can too, including Santa, Multanica, but right here, we're not gonna use Multanica, we're just gonna stick with the Warlock. So, it's gonna be kind of hard to notice on Vlad, as Vlad heals himself really often, and he also already does a ton of damage, but, a lot, all right, we got screwed over right here with the little Warlock on the edge, I hate when that happens, but, Vlad already does a ton of damage. He already knocks out waves, but this extra percentage from the Borg is going to help ensure that wave is knocked out for you, as well as ensure that he has those more hit points, which could keep him alive. This Say this could be a really good demonstration on R when the Multanica is coming, or S when the giant Multanica is coming. It's going to let your heroes stay alive longer whilst they're doing more damage in return. So it's a win-win situation in all aspects of the Bulwark Crest. So moving on here to 03, we still got some side spawns, and as you see, we haven't even lost any buildings yet. Remember, Warlock and Vlad are the heroes with Bulwark, and all right, we lost the first building due to the Orthocopters, which are the biggest pain sometimes, but moving on, as you see, we easily knock out the wave. We probably could have done that without the Bulwark Crest as we beat it before, but you can still notice a little difference. As you see, Vorlock and Vlad are staying at full health because before they were definitely draining a little bit more before Druid actually revived them or boosted their health. Moving on here to 05, this is what I was talking about when I was counting them. So originally it took 16 seconds from the first hit to kill the boss. And moving on here, as you guys are going to see, if you count it from the first hit right there, it takes around 12 seconds, which is not a huge difference it is only you know 
it's 12 seconds. It's not going to make a huge difference, 16 to 12, but it's definitely there, and it shows you that the Bulwark is doing more damage on Vlad and Warlock. So now we're going to hop into some Lost Realm to finish off this video and demonstration of what Bulwark can do. So we're just going to put Warlock on there to see his hits. So right now, as you see, we do have Bulwark on. So Bulwark is on him going in to fight this. I do not expect to win. I just expect to see how much damage he does and how long he can hold up. So as you see, he is lasting so far. It's been five seconds. 10 seconds he's doing a decent amount of damage and as you see he's not doing too bad of a deal staying alive and as you see 15 seconds gone by he's still there he's still there strong he got stunned but 20 seconds go by 21 seconds he lasted 21 seconds with that bulwark crest now we're going to take the bulwark crest off of him and do a few runs to show you guys the real difference we're going to do more than one just in case we get a bad run so we'll do two to show you guys what it's going to do and what the difference is so keep in mind first time to 21 seconds it took to kill our warlock so right now we got warlock no bulwark crest so let's see how long it takes for him to die as you see his health is already draining a lot quicker it's been 10 seconds that took 12 seconds 21 seconds compared to 12 seconds nine whole seconds of warlock staying alive because of that bulwark that 20 percent hit points boost so if you guys don't believe me we hop into it again to see the same thing once again first run with bulwark 21 seconds and he's still already draining not doing enough damage but he did last a little over 11 but not really that time he hit 12 seconds which is still pretty much close but anyways guys that's that the bulwark crest is a great crest to have and i would highly recommend it if you do not use it or have it so that is that if you have the bulwark crest let us know how you like it and what it uses i promise you guys it's the little things that matter sometimes and although you might not notice it'll be there it'll help you it'll help you ensure your win for your best team in castle clash so i've been brutal tech and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like always i will see you guys on my channel peace